the anti telangana ministers in andhra pradesh have sent in their resignations to the chief minister this is naturally in protest against the center's move to start the process of creating a separate state of telangana now this was a, this is not unexpected news uh, there was a very clear signal coming from the anti telangana ministers that they would take action if the decision was taken for the separate statehood of telangana there has been a lot of opposition over the last few years to the creation of telangana and this was a politically sensitive issue that had to be considered by the government before they went ahead to take this step uh, which is why there's been a, a lot of flip flop which took place over the last few years about the issue but now once the decision has been taken the consequences are now being shown we've also seen protests happening pretty much across the state um, anti telangana protesters taking to the streets to uh, make it clear that they feel this decision is wrong headed and incorrect let's go over to ndtv's uma sudhir who joins us now for more on this story uma it's unsurprising that these resignations have happened but they've happened in what can be called a rather wholesale fashion there was a sense that a lot of voices had been brought on board but have enough voices in the state been brought on board that is the question right now Uh, these resignations these meetings have been taking place since morning uh, the, most of the people from uh, royal seema and coastal if you listen to them they have been extremely dejected almost feeling very defeated uh, because they did not expect this to really happen that the bifurcation would come about and they were they were looking at strategies uh, to stop it uh, political strategies as well as arguing uh, putting forth several arguments including the fact that even for telangana region they were uh, pointing out that power is going to be a major issue for telangana because they uh, can, they produce only about 57 million units whereas they consume uh, about 115 million units and therefore power is going to be a problem and that this entire bifurcation doesn't make sense not just for royal seema and coastal region but also for telangana that was their arguments but since morning many of these people are meeting each other just now a short while ago at least uh, uh, six ministers had gone into the chief minister's office to meet him we saw several mlas coming in to meet him and just a short while ago we had a confirmation from erasu pratap reddy the law minister of andhra pradesh who said that yes they have resigned because they would like a united andhra pradesh is there any possibility that you are are you considering any resignation yes already we have submitted our resignation how many of you ministers sir myself ganta uh, i don't know uh, ganta and myself i saw at least uh, half a dozen ministers go in you all resigned yeah. the chief minister has not resigned No. You have given it to the chief minister. Yeah, we had to give to him. Yeah, and are you also resigning from the party or only from the no, ministership? No, only for the minister. Okay. Have you put any conditionalities about uh, the bifurcation? We want Samay Kandra. Yes, sir. Thank you. So it's they want Samay Ke Andhra only, which means they want Andhra Pradesh to remain united. They are not wanting to allow the bifurcation of the state. We must look at these resignations in the context of uh, the overall thing. Whether these resignations can influence the uh, UPA government to really change its decision, or whether there can be a going back now on the bifurcation of the state. Leaders who I have been speaking to, they are uh, saying that unlike what is being suggested, that the, uh, the the resolution on Telangana will also have to be. put to vote in the assembly they are saying that has been the convention during the formation of states earlier and this time round uh, it is not going to change so they are uh, certainly looking at uh, uh, putting pressure on the leadership already uh, senior uh, lok sabha mp Raya Pati Samba Shivarao has resigned. Whether more MPs are also likely to resign, that is something that we need to wait and see. But on the ground, there are protests, and uh, my colleague Maya Sharma is in Vijayawada uh, on the what is the ground situation there. There have been protests in Vijayawada against the formation of Telangana. We see here actually people trying to stop a bus from flying. Buses and autos have been on the roads of the city. but now we can see that they are trying to actually stop the buses asking them to actually they've taken off the number there and actually trying to get the buses to stop flying on the roads we've seen groups of people on motorbikes as well going around asking people to pull down the shutters most of the shops were already open but the few shops that were actually open so the time have been asked to pull their shutters down so there you can actually see a group of protesters insisting that the bus actually stops so yes protests are there in vijayawada so far they have been peaceful which is actually good news but certainly 
resentment in this coastal region of Andhra Pradesh that Telangana has been announced and attempts being made to stop buses from flying and shops being asked to pull down as the resentment of the people of this coastal region against the formation of Telangana finds its expression in this voice. The slogans are there for Samaika Andhra, for United Andhra. That is really the expression being expressed here. They do not want the division of the state. They wanted a united Andhra Pradesh. With camera person Edwin, Maya Sharma in Vijayawada for NDTV. So protests on the ground, whether they are going to influence the political leaders to start uh, resignations, pre of resignations to put pressure on their party leadership to once again reconsider the bifurcation, that remains the big question. Of course, several people in Hyderabad are indicating that with a population of at least about 30% uh, of the population here being from Rajima and coastal areas, they do believe that if bifurcation happens, there could be actually an exodus of these people from Hyderabad. Back to you, Kajori.